The Philippine National Police strongly believe that each child, whatever their living conditions may be, has the right to dream, have fun, and hope. Their journey to their dream depends greatly on condition of their environment and the support system. These children may come from underprivileged or isolated communities, but with police heroes and success stories they can emulate, they are on the right path on achieving success towards their dream. Hence, the Philippine National Police would like to be a part of each Filipino child's dream and endeavors for a holistic and lasting transformation. The introduction of performance governance system becomes a welcome development for the Philippine National Police as it was seen to enhance the ongoing integrated transformation program that was started in 2005. The PNP adopted the PGS in 2009 in order to address corruption, instill accountability and transparency in the government, and to institutionalize the culture of good governance towards inclusive economic growth and development in the country. Since its establishment, the PNP was beset with organizational issues and challenges. While numerous reforms and initiatives were introduced in the past, they lack coherence and continuity to address the identified challenges and organizational dysfunctions. The PGS provided the measuring tool which is lacking in the Integrated Transformation Program. The organization cascaded the PNP Patrol Plan 2030 from the national headquarters down to the last or lowest police stations and individuals. The strategy execution partners, TWG, PSMUs, and Advisory Council are all contributing in the effective implementation of strategic initiatives and their functionality is properly monitored by the CPSM. The effective monitoring and evaluation of functionality of strategy partners provides sustainability of the institutionalized good governance culture and attain breakthroughs. The organization highly satisfied in the validation by PwC auditors on the presence of nine governance elements. The PNP has been conferred three of the four stages of the PGS governance pathway, namely the initiated status in September 2009, compliance status in October 2011, and the proficient status in September 2012. And now the PNP is vying for the last and final stage of the PGS, which is the institutionalization. The most compelling proof that the PNP is ready to be institutionalized is the significant drop in crime incidents, volume, and big improvement in crime clearance and solution efficiencies with the active support of the communities. The breakthroughs were attained due to the significant increase in the fill-up of enabling logistical resources. By optimizing the use of logistical resources with a bottom-up budgeting system in place, enhancement of units and individual skills and competencies. With these, the PNP registered good to very good ratings in the third-party poll surveys for the past three years. And finally, after 10 long years of good governance practice, the Philippine National Police was conferred institutionalized in the performance governance system on July 15, 2019. With the institutionalization conferment, the PNP have shown that with the aid of the Almighty, by working closely together, inspiring others, 
and subordinating personal interests for the attainment of its common vision, joint objectives, and the bigger interest of the organization and country. It could achieve great things. This is the real essence of good governance. PNP has achieved significant milestones in its transformation journey with proactive engagement with various stakeholders and devoting extensive resources and effort to bring about positive change in the country. Thank you for being with us in our journey in real and lasting transformation for a highly capable, effective, and credible police service that the country rightly deserves and be truly proud of.